you. Brothers, do you see this car? It was running well, then suddenly died and won't start again. Owner wanted to pay 800 for a tow. I said, why waste 100 on that? Let me take a look first. Today we'll figure out what's wrong. Let's go. I brought these tools. Let's try starting it. Let's give it a try. Thank you, boss. It won't start. Any idea why? Let's check under the hood. Cars usually won't start for two reasons. No spark or no fuel. Let's check for spark first. We'll test the ignition. See this? The slider's out. Let's plug it back in. Okay, now try starting it. See if there's a spark. Still no spark. Let's put it back and check the fuel. Remove this hose, then start it. See if fuel sprays out. Hold the bottle to catch it. Don't pollute. Come on, give it a try. See, no fuel either. Let's reconnect the hose. No spark, no fuel. This might be simpler than we thought. Cars have computers controlling ignition and fuel injection. No spark or fuel means it's likely a signal problem. There's one hard effect. Come look. It's this, the crankshaft position sensor. I think it's faulty. Let's take it out. Remove this screw. Screw's out. Now unplug the connector. See, now we can remove the sensor. All right, let's examine it. Yep, there's the problem. Take a look. Wow, the sensor's covered in metal shavings. It's all gunked up. Too many iron filings can affect signal transmission, potentially causing ignition issues. Don't rush to replace it. You might waste money unnecessarily. Use a tissue to clean the iron filings off the sensor head. Wow, look how dirty it was. This sensor collects position signals to determine the piston's top dead center. It's usually installed above the flywheel with a 1 mm gap and easily attracts iron filings. Excess filings reduce the gap, confusing ignition and injection timing, leading to misfires. See, it's clean now. Now let's install the sensor and see if the car starts. First, let's plug the sensor back in. Okay, now replace the screws. Tighten them up. Good, they're all tightened now. Finally, reconnect the plug. All right, it's fully installed. Let's start the car and see if it fires up. Folks, if this solves the issue, please show your support with a like. Now let's witness the moment of truth. Subscribe, share, comment, and hit the notification bell. Let's go check it out. See how simple that was? Like, learn daily and gain knowledge every day.